Hi everybody, this is Mirav and welcome to Jom Social 3.1. This is a very, very exciting version because we redid the, completely the entire back end and it's looking very, very sweet, very nice, very uh, attractive, but also it's user-friendly, extremely user-friendly. So I'll give you a little tour about what's going on with this uh, back end so that you'll, you'll know what to pay attention when you start using it. So let's start with the left side. This is our new menu. As you can see, we took it from the top, we put it on the left side, and now you have easy access to all the pages on the back end. You don't have to go back and click on different buttons. This, everything is right here, okay? Another cool thing to notice that if you want to minimize it, all you have to do is click here, and it turns into drop downs. Pretty cool. Another thing I want you to notice is the notifications. This is very important. The main thing that is very important to notice about 3.1, we give you very easy ways to manage and monitor your community. The notifications is one of them. For example, you can see I have 12 notifications. Four of them are pending groups, eight are pending members. And if I had uh, reports or anything like that, new version, it will also show here. Okay, so as soon as you log into Job Social, always take a look at notifications and see what's going on. Another thing that you will see on the notifications is the, is the emails that are uh, pending to be sent, and maybe there's a problem with your cron job, so you want to pay attention to these notifications. Let's scroll down to see what else is going on on our new dashboard. You have all the statistics that you had before, only now they just look nicer. And I think discussions is new. Here we have user engagement and statistics. This is really cool. You can see exactly how many likes, how many comments, status updates on the stream, on the photos, on videos, on events, on groups. You can minimize it if you don't want to see it. You can see it by week, last week, this month, last month. Here you can see data statistics, like how many groups, how many photos for each date on the last, in the last week. Here on the right, you can see like a snapshot of what's going on right now. You can see these are the last posts that people posted, the last comments that people made, new members. If they're pending, you can see a button, you'll see a button here that allows you to approve them right here on the spot. Let's scroll down. By the way, this is a real admin of jumpsocial.com community. You can see a little bit of our statistics. You can see that the demographics here, we have a lot more men than women. This is brand new feature. You can see the average age is 37, male 38, female 32. You can see the most popular countries and cities and where they are located. You can drag this map to look around. Here at the bottom, you can see an event calendar. And you can see if there's an event, it's gonna show like this. You can go back in time. We only have one event, but you can go back and see different, uh, different months. Here you can see it's very, very useful. You can see news from us so that you can be updated of everything that's going on with Jump Social. This is from our blog here, the latest entries. This is the new add-ons that are added to our directory. They wanna check it out from time to time, see what's new. And this is iJoomla blog with a bunch of cool articles and tips and tricks for Joomla. Okay, this is the dashboard. Like I said, one of the main things that uh, we wanted you to be able to do was to monitor your community. So we added a new menu item called monitor. And now you can see all the things that we want you to monitor because they're so important, like activities. You wanna see who's writing what and be able to easily check the ones that are inappropriate or out of line and just delete them or archive them. You want to monitor your members and you can see their photo, okay? You can assign them to group. That's not a new feature, but on almost all the pages, we added a search, we added filters to be able to, monitor, to, uh, to find people easier, okay? For example, I can see the ones that are pending right now. Here they are. And it's the same list I will get if I click here on pending members. 
you can see reports. Right now you can see I have three reports that people from the community reported there was something wrong with either the profile, the group, the activity, something is just not right. So then you can look at the, click here to see the actual item and if it's something inappropriate you just uh, unpublish it. Right now it's all unpublished so that, that, that's why you see a publish button. You can also choose to ignore it. Okay, and then you can filter it to see all the other reports. Now if you want to see who exactly reported this uh, item, just click on view and it will give you the person. In this case it was me. And you can see exactly why I reported this. Uh, in this case it's a group. Okay, the next thing I want you to notice is the configuration. I'm not going to go over everything, but what I do want you to notice, it just looks nicer. It's just easier easier on the eyes, we're using those kind of buttons instead of a yes and no uh, um, radio buttons. It just looks more organized. And there's a link to documentations everywhere. So if you're stuck with something, all you have to do is click on the documentation. It will take you right to our wiki page where you can see uh, some about this feature and how to use it. Now let's go to the profiles. You can see the multi-profiles here and customized profile. Let me show you how the multi-profiles uh, look like when you click inside. That's something we changed and just made it more user-friendly. It's the same functionality. It used to be all in one page and now we divided it into two tabs. So the information, the basic information about the, the multi-profile is right here. By the way, we really improved the whole uh, watermark thing that was a little bit messy. And here, under Fields tab, you can see all the fields. So it's much more organized and easy to use. And every field you want to include in the multi-profile, in that particular profile, you just click, 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 and you're done. Let's move on to groups. Let's take a look at the list of groups. You can see a huge improvement because you can see a thumbnail of the group. You can easily click and you can edit the group right on the spot. You don't have to go anywhere else. You just make your edits, save. Everything with model windows is very, very user friendly. You can also add a new group from the back end. Click on new group, fill out the information, you're done. We put the group settings right here under groups because that's the logical place for it. It's the same thing with events. We put the event settings. Same thing with the videos. We put the video settings under each category. Same thing with events, very similar to groups. You can see a drop, uh, like a, an avatar of the event. You can edit it right on the spot. You can view it. Let's take a look at photos. Photos is a brand new feature that we just added to this uh, this version. It was really missing and when you have a community you want to make sure that people upload photos that are appropriate. It really depends on your site, what, what you call appropriate. But here you can see it's very easy to see the photo. You can even see it in large size. You can see who uploaded it in their picture. Okay, and you can see a little bit about a, a description of the photo. And the most important thing, you can edit the photo. All right, so if you don't like what the, the name of the photo was, just edit it right here on the spot. So that's a new, completely brand new feature. And of course, you have the search and you have published and published. Now, another huge improvement is in the videos. Well, before we did have a list of videos, we didn't show you a thumbnail. Now we show you a thumbnail. And not only that, you can click on it to actually view the video. Okay. And you can edit it right on the spot. Now, this is really important. Why? Because you can really take advantage of this feature for SEO, search engine optimization. Let's say that you uploaded the, or people uploaded videos from YouTube and automatically it added the contents from YouTube. But you know what? This content is already on YouTube, so YouTube will always win when people search for those keywords. But if you enter your own description and your own title, you can do some. You can do really, really well with search engines. Okay, so this is what I would recommend you to do: look at the list of videos and start edit editing them for search engines, because every video has a page, and it's just excellent way to get some traffic from search engines. So this is the video page. Once again, search, filters on top. 
one more menu item that we added is the applications. Here, basically, this is something we're going to improve in the, future, in the future, but for now, you can just have easy access to all the applications of uh, Jump Social. When you click on it, you will see basically all the applications that have community as a type. So you can see all these applications are available and you can start opening them, looking at what they are, what they do, and then adding them to, your, um, to the profile page, if you wish. So this is just an easy way. In the future, we're going to have the list right here. Under tools, you can see mass messaging. And the tools is another thing we're going to extend in the future. We're going to add more things that here that you can do, like troubleshooting and stuff like that. Right now, we have mass messaging and update. Here's where you send a mass message to your community. And we have a nice HTML editor here that allows you to create HTML message, meaning it, if you want to make things bold, underlined, links, all that stuff you can do right here. And the send button is right at the bottom where it should be. So very, very user friendly and easy to use. Let's take a look at what else we have here. We have a link to the documentation, our wiki, the add-ons. We have an about us page and a link to support. Under tools, of course, I forgot to mention the update. If you want to update on social, you can see exactly what version it is now. And you can check for the latest version as well. It will pop up a window that will check what's going on. So this is it. This is the new version of JumpSocial, uh, version 3.1. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.